Hello, I'm Gavin from FTDI. Today I'd like to show you some of our products that convert from USB to UART or data solutions. This cable is our USB to TTL cable and it's a USB type A with TTL connections at the other end. I'd now like to show you how easy it is to install the drivers. With the laptop connected to the internet, it's just a case of plug and play. When you connect the cable, the driver wizard will start and the driver will install. We can check in device manager and we can see we have a driver under the universal zero bus controller and also we have what we call a virtual COM port. And in this case, it's been allocated the number four. COM port four allocation is controlled by the operating system itself. I'm now going to show a simple loop back where we're going to send data down the cable. The virtual COM port acts like a legacy COM port and it with transfer data rates up to three megabits per second. I have a simple terminal app here and it's TTY and I'm going to connect up, transmit and receive, short them out together. So when I send a keystroke or data down the USB, we'll look back through the shorted out transmit and receive straight back to the terminal window. And whatever key I press, you will see in the window. So what's in the cable? Well, the brains is an FT232RQ device. You can see it on this PCB. And this PCB is identical to the PCB held within the cable. And the idea is we also sell this is because customer can make his own custom cable using the solder points here and the USB here. The FT232RQ device is a 32 pin QFN device. You can see here on the module. In this case, it is USB bus powered. If we have a look at the schematic, you can see that pin one is connected to the five volt supply from the USB connector on the laptop. With the addition of a level shifter, we can upgrade the UART signals to RS422, RS485 and RS232 levels. You can see on this module, we have the 232R chip and a level shifter chip, giving us the RS232 levels on the DB9 connector. Final product I'm going to show you today is a completed cable. We have the DB9 serial data here. We have the RS232RL device in the plastics, along with the RS232 level shifter. And finally, an LED on each side. Thanks for watching. Now, just to mention that all the products from FTDI that I've shown you today are available from RS Components.